Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ron and in this video I'm going to test and verify Tesla's automatic emergency braking system or AEB based on what it says in Tesla's owner's manual and find out how safe and reliable actually it is. I'm also going to compare Tesla's AEB with Toyota's safety sense system or TSS which is a standard on all Toyota's vehicles. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss the second part of this experiment which I'm going to do using Tesla's full self-drive. Now let's dive in and find out which system comes out on the top. According to Tesla's owner's manual, Model Y is designed to determine the distance from detected objects. When a collision is considered unavoidable, automatic emergency braking is designed to apply the brakes to reduce the vehicle's speed. When automatic emergency braking applies the brakes, the touchscreen displays a visual warning and sounds a chime. You may also notice abrupt downward movement of the brake pedal. Automatic emergency braking operates only when driving between approximately 3 miles per hour or 5 km per hour and 124 miles per hour or 200 km per hour. For this test, I'm driving a Tesla Model Y 2023 with no ultrasonic sensors as expected. My car's software is updated to the latest current version and automatic emergency braking system is enabled. To avoid any damage to the car, I'm using a large 36 by 41 inches cardboard box that could be considered as a short wall or large block. I covered the front of the box with packing bubbles to minimize the damage to my car. For the first test, I drove toward the box at under 10 miles an hour speed. As you have probably noticed, there were no visual warnings or chimes, but after hitting the box, the word stop appeared on the screen, which was already too late. I repeated the same test, but this time with the speed above 10 miles an hour. Again, no warning or chime, even no stop word on the screen. Next, I repeated the test while backing up to the box to see if the rear camera can detect the box. This time, Tesla detected the box and displayed a visual warning and the word stop with audible chime, but the car did not brake on its own. Then I decided to repeat the same test, but this time using Tesla's autopilot to see if the autopilot can avoid the accident by stopping the car. This time the result was a little better. Tesla showed the forward collision warning message along with the audible and visual warnings, but again it did not stop the car. Toyota Safety Sense or TSS is a set of active safety technologies designed for accident protection. One of these features is called Pre-Collision System, or PCS, that uses a front-facing camera and radar designed to mitigate or avoid frontal collision. For this test, I am driving a 2020 Toyota Prius which is equipped with Toyota Safety Sense version 1.5. The new models are equipped with TSS version 3, which is even more advanced. When got too close to the box, Toyota Safety Sense got activated, started with audible alarms, and then it engaged brake on its own and fully stopped the car, which remarkably reduced the impact. Well, thank you for watching. So based on the result, it looks like Tesla's automatic emergency braking system does not function as described in the user manual. But this could be due to ongoing development in Tesla software, especially after recent transitioning from ultrasonic sensors to Tesla vision and cameras. Because sometimes when I'm driving and getting close to the car in front of me too fast, I actually get collision warning, which that suggests maybe Tesla's vision is trained to detect cars and pedestrians better. But the question is, what about other obstacles or debris on the road? 
But on the positive side, this test has shown that Tesla obstacle detection works better when you are in reverse using the rear camera. Also, it works better when you are on autopilot. So let me know in the comments, uh, what is your experience with Tesla's AEB and if I miss anything important. Once again, thank you for watching. And if you find this content useful, please hit the like button and consider to subscribe to my channel because I'm planning to repeat the same test later on using Tesla's FSD. And if considering buying a Tesla, you can use my referral code in the description, which gives you about a thousand dollars off the car price and some free supercharger miles. Thank you again. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.